You were arrested along with your brother. Why were you arrested? Uh, as I, I can say, uh, I was a student in a uh, university, and I was a university student activist and human rights activist. And uh, so, and uh, I was supporting PMOI, Mujahideen organization. So I, my brother and I arrested uh, for this reason. And I, my brother and I was uh, were in prison for five years. And uh, in a different uh, prisons in Iran, in Evin, Qashak uh, Varamin, and Gohardash. And I saw lots of things in prisons. And I was uh, three months in solitary confinement under pressure, under uh, several uh, torture and pressure, the violence and uh, the horrible ones uh, between my brother in front of my eyes. And uh, uh, I was, uh, my family was uh, deprived of uh, getting any information about me during this uh, situation about the when I was in a uh, security jail in Evin. Uh, it's called a 209 ward. After that, I, my brother and I uh, uh, sentenced to five years in prison and we exiled to Gohardasht. It was the horrible prison in Iran. After that, uh, after some months, I exiled to Kharchek Baramin. Uh, I, I, I saw lots of things in the, these things. I, I uh, visited and I saw a lot of women that, was, that were under pressure, torture, and they're suffering from lots of torture from re Iranian regimes. And is your brother still in prison? No, my brother is, and my brother is here too, and we are too together here. and. Uh, yeah. And so how, how were you able to leave Iran? It must have been incredibly difficult. Yeah, of course, because the security um, agents and uh, the re Iranian regime and agents um, mostly uh, put uh, we under pressure and treated our lives and for the arresting us and putting in the tortures and actually our family too. Not only uh, my brother and me, but also all other my families, my uh, my father and uh, my mothers too, and so. We're here in the European Parliament today. We've heard from a lot of MEPs who are very concerned about the human rights situation. What more can the EU be doing? We have the Iran nuclear deal, which w was introduced for very good reasons. We're concerned about the nuclear threat, but. What, what can the EU do to make the situation of people in Iran better? Yeah. I can say uh, I, I, now I'm here to, uh, and I speak uh, as a witness, witness of the, all the things. I was in Iran after nuclear deal, and I saw uh, nothing change in Iranian people's lives. Uh, one thing changed, the execution of Iran increased, the violence of Iran increased. Uh, it's the reality of Iranian people. Uh, the the uh, laborers, teachers uh, don't have salary. The, the Iranian government don't give them their salary and they protest every day, every, every week in the streets. Uh, but the uh, Iranian regime beat them. Uh, catch them and uh, and arrested them, but, uh, and uh, you can see and you can hear the voice of people in Iran from Istrits. They don't want to deal any, and they uh, want to uh, stop negotiations, stop deals with these criminal regimes because Iranian regime, the, the Rouhani is not the moderation regime. Iran, the Rouhani is not the real face of the regime. The real face of the regime is the gallows in history. It's, you can see, you can, it's not unbelievable. You cannot imagine three, every day three, at least three young people Executed, are executed in Iran. It's awful. We cannot believe. So, is the moderation? Is it the moderation? Is it the nuclear deal? No. Iranian people want to uh, wants the United Nations and uh, my message from Iranian people as a witness to Mrs. Mogherini, please stop this negotiations because every negotiation and deal with Iranian people, Iranian regime means 
additional gallo in the streets. The cost of these deals is the human lives in Iran. The, the, uh, it's the time that the United Nations uh, uh, stand with the Iranian uh, people and the resistance of Iranian people and respect the uh, real fight, freedom fighters uh, for in Iran, uh, Iranian people, actually the National Council of the Resistance that headed by Mrs. Rajavi and uh, fight for the more than 37 years against this regime to show the real face of the, this regime. But sanctions, economic sanctions that weren't working and I think the fear was in Europe that nuclear capability was being developed. Europe thought that we might be able to intervene in another way. Uh, I think the first step to the stop Iranian regime, the, the most reason, the, the first point in the negotiations and deal must be the human rights in Iran. After this point, they must be do another thing. The human rights is must be the head of the negotiations, the head of the deals every time. If Rouhani says, okay, Iran is the good and the free, okay, but, and we, the United Nations must ask them to uh, to allow to uh, the representative, human rights representative, go to Iran and visit the prisoners. Why? Why the Rouhani regime doesn't allow this? Why the, if they are say, okay, Iranian people uh, wanted this regime, okay, just just uh, allow this regime to have fair and free election to show, yes, they don't want this regime. They don't want to continue to export terrorism with this regime. And like I said, after nuclear deal, every money that was given after this year to the Iranian regime was used for exporting terrorism in the Syria and violence in the Iran and the separation of Iranian people. Nothing else, nothing else, because you can see after Nuclear power at the nuclear dealer, and after prison, I saw the Iranian people lives. The uh, uh, street ped peddlers are increased in Iran. Labors, child labors are increased, and the women you can see the all of the most of the women are said the street peddlers because the the government doesn't give them the salaries. You can hear the protest of the laborers, the protest of the uh, teachers. And uh, yesterday was the Students' Day in Iran. We called Shanzda Azar. The most of the uh, students protest against this regime and say no to regime, not only to Rouhani, but also all of this regime. And uh, they ask the uh, United Nations, it is a time to is stand with the Iranian people and the resistance with Iranian people.